Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. A few weeks ago, I did a screencast on what was to be my free WordPress theme that's now available. You can search my blog at chris.perillo.com for something called Wicket Pixie, and you can download it for your own WordPress blog if you are hosting your own blog somewhere. I use WebAir for my web host, but it's a free theme that many people, including people here in the chat room at live.perillo.com, have successfully deployed. I'm working on a few fixes, uh, so there will be a, a you know, very minor update at some point in the near future, uh, but that shouldn't stop you from downloading and, and trying it now. People have been happy with it. Uh, it's a very well-designed theme and adds a, a lot of features and functionality uh, to what could otherwise be just a regular old blog. Uh, and you can learn more, of course, by downloading the theme or looking at more information on my blog at chris.perillo.com. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because the first time I zipped up all the files, all the CSS files, HTML files, PHP files, all the things that made this theme work, when I first zipped them up on my Mac and put it online, some people were complaining. They said, well, what are all these .ds underscore store files? I'm like, oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Uh, if you have a Mac, You've probably never seen these files, but if you have a PC and you're running Windows or Linux, you probably have seen these ds dot under or I'm sorry dot ds underscore store files. The ds stands for desktop services, and these files on a Mac are invisible. You, like it, they're just not seen, and the reason why is because they're planted inside of directories or folders in the Finder on the Mac, and in these dot ds underscore store files, ds store files. I'll just keep it short for there, um, are stored preferences. Uh, so for instance, if I want to view that folder in the Finder a certain way, and I change the view for that folder, well, the Finder remembers that. But the way it remembers it is it plants that little file inside the, that Finder folder, but it keeps it out of view. Anything that starts with a dot inside of Mac OS X by default is hidden from the Finder's view. I don't know if you knew that. So in there is just relatively benign preferences. It used to store the .ds underscore store file. The .ds store file used to store more information. That, that was seen as kind of a, a privacy risk. Uh, so they just now stripped it out, uh, just basically store viewing preferences for that particular Finder folder. Uh, now, for Windows users, you may have seen desktop.ini files sitting inside of your Explorer folder Windows, and there sits information about that folder within uh, the Windows Explorer. So if you've ever downloaded a file uh, that has folders zipped up inside of it, um, and, and you've downloaded it on the Mac, you said, what's this desktop INI file? That's the Windows equivalent for the DS store file. Oh, so uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is to let you know that if you've seen these things, they're very safe to delete because if anything, it's the either Mac or Windows is, is going to rebuild them the next time you change your viewing preferences. Uh, if you want to archive a set of folders on a Mac, on Mac OS X, without zipping up those DS store files, the only program I found that can do it with ease or certainly affordably is something called Clean Archiver. That's open source. You can go ahead and search the web for it. Clean Archiver. And it'll give you the option to zip up a variety of folders just by dragging and dropping in there and then removing, clearing out all those DS store files so that if you send it over to a PC friend, all those DS store files are gone. They just don't exist. They'll not be archived with Clean Archiver. Um, the, uh, the interesting thing is, too, uh, it, it, it was a frustration for me uh, dealing with these .ds store files because as I was uh, browsing my Windows machine from Mac OS X, uh, when I'd go to visit that machine, like let's say this PC that I have sitting over there, it would plant the .ds store file on that machine. I'm like, da, but that's not a Mac. Well, the Mac doesn't know. It's like, I, I don't know. I'm just browsing the folder from the Mac. So I, you changed the view there, and so I'm just saving the view. So there you go. So there is a way that you can turn off the planting, if you will, of DS store files on PCs automatically. Uh, in the, uh, there's a link to it, actually, on the Wikipedia page, which I printed out here, it's just general guidelines, uh, a link to where Apple has documented it. There's also a handful of system tweakers that you can download and then toggle the turning off 
of uh, these automatic generation of DS store files on like Windows machines that just don't need them. You know, uh, Apple can handle it differently. So if you if you want, check out the Wikipedia article for DS Store if, to get that information. I'll also put a link to it here. Uh, my favorite uh, tweaker right now for Mac OS X, in case you're wondering, is a system preference pane called Secrets. It's really cool. Although the website's having a problem right now, it will um, scan for the latest, uh, I guess, I don't know what you would call them really. Um, well, I know what I would call them, hacksies, although that's not the right word for them because that's the word for kind of unofficial hacks. They're preference settings that are normally done on a command line. And what secrets this preference pane does is brings it into a GUI so it's easier to configure. And so from the secrets preference pane, I'm able to set these preferences with relative ease and then turning off the ability of, or turning off the feature feature of DS store files on network drives. And so that has, has saved me from a lot of frustration when I connect to Ponzi's machine or when I connect to uh, any other PC that I have in the home office. So there you go. There's uh, some just basic information about DS store files or desktop INI files or even those darn thumbs.db files. Those are just as nasty, especially those, those are those invisible files on Windows that are generated when, like, if you've got a folder full of like a thousand pictures and then you view that folder in Explorer in, in thumbnail view, it'll generate, if you don't you have it set any other way, it'll generate a thumbs.db file, and that thing can be absolutely huge. And of course, if you zip up that folder and send it to somewhere else or, or copy it somewhere else, you're copying over metadata that is relatively useless outside of Windows. So thumbs.db can be just as bad as DS store desktop INI files. Uh, all of them, for the most part, should be relatively safe for you to remove, because if anything, they'll just be regenerated when they need to be by the operating systems. So, uh, if you have any other questions about these kinds of things, feel free to pass them along. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Or if you have any other suggestions for how to deal with this kind of stuff, maybe programs or just tweaks, if you will. Uh, maybe you've got some favorite tweakers out there that I just don't know about. Are you tweaking? I am, and in a good way. The geeky tweaking thing that, you know, the withdrawal is a lot less strenuous on the body when you stop tweaking. Apparently my computer didn't think it was that funny. Probably wasn't. You're also welcome to stop by our website here. We've got a chat room with uh, geeks uh, galore, a gaggle of geeks. Uh, and we love talking about hardware, software. It doesn't matter what platform, really. Uh, we just love talking about tweaking because we're just tweaking geeks. Yeah! Have you tweaked today? Okay, well, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. So you're welcome to stop by, say hello, share a few tweaks, ask for a few tweaks, just be a friendly geek, and uh, say hi. I'm streaming this video live 24 hours a day, We're typically talking tech with the group here at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.